Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you to connect Dialogflow to Facebook Messenger without any other platforms. So here's what you need to do first, you need to do a Facebook page. So I'm going to select brand, I'm going to choose any, and I'm going to say uh, demo, demo agent for DF, which is Dialogflow. So you can skip this uh, picture. We can you can do that later. So I'm just gonna skip both the profile and the cover picture. So you have created your brand new Facebook page. Now let's jump to Dialogflow. So then you're going to go to uh, dialogflow.com and you're going to use the sign here up for free. But I'm going to skip that since uh, I'm already registered. There's going to be a window in which you have some authorization. You just press allow. Just wait a minute until it loads. And you now have a um, Dialogflow account. You can create uh, for later a brand new agent, which uh, we're going to call it uh, my first agent. Oops. I have too much bot, but you know that you're just gonna press create and everything. Uh, I have too much bot right now with this account, so it just show you how uh, to connect. And then after that, uh, once you created your first agent, we'll jump to the next step in order to uh, make your first dialogue flow with Facebook Messenger integration. So next, you're gonna have to go to this address developer.facebook.com to create your first Facebook application. Facebook applications are mostly used by programmers, but they're just really easy to set up. It's going to take you, uh, you know, a few seconds to create an app, and then you can connect it with uh, through Webhook uh, to Dialogflow. So let's just log in. So. You have to write your password. And then you can create, you go here and you can create a new app. So I'm going to create one. You can create yours. Add a new app. So just give a name, any name that you want to your. Uh, app ID, uh, something easy that you can remember. So I'm going to call it dialogue, dialogue flow agent and create app ID. So you're going to have some captcha. And now you have created your application. So let me show you the next step. So welcome back everyone. So here you're in uh, Facebook for developer. We're back there. I forgot to mention that you need to create an account. So if you don't have one, please do so. You just need to log to developers.facebook.com and make your own developer account. And after that, uh, create your first app, add a new app or the one that you created. Let's call this, this is a Facebook app. Create, oh, it doesn't work. So yeah, we can have to use Facebook. Sorry, Facebook, this is a, an app. 
then again cap show m then you're going to be in the facebook for developer dashboard then with your new bot you just need to scroll down go to messenger and set up you have a pop-up window I'm already load up but you're gonna have like to uh, pop up just press press uh, the blue button on both and you're gonna be ready so now you will need to select here select a page and here's the pop-up continue and then there's another one uh, below sorry for that so just press OK and you have your token that you can copy and paste and then you're gonna go to dialog flow and here to your agent that you created to integration and you're gonna press that button to select the Facebook Messenger integration and here you're gonna have a window that's gonna pop up and in that window uh, you will be able to copy and paste your token right here and we'll do that in the other video so you're going to copy paste, uh, as mentioned, the page access token. You're going to go back to Dialogflow, select your agent, go to integration, here you're going to copy paste uh, the Facebook developer page access token and you're going to create your own uh, verified token. So here. You're going to say something like uh, a very long sentence for token. So I use this, use yours, create your own key and press start. Okay, now you can copy paste the callback URL that we're going to use and go back to Facebook for developer, go to set up web hook, copy paste the callback URL, go back here, and you can copy paste your verified token. can select them all but I'm just gonna select messages but let's select them all and verify and save So here, the webhook is done. Last thing you need to do is select the same Facebook page and you're done. Subscribe. So this is how you connect a Dialogflow agent to a Facebook Messenger app and I'll guide you to the rest in another video.